If for some reason you find yourself with a bunch of these empty film canisters and not so sure what to do with them, then stay tuned or I'm about to show you how I turn these canisters into tin types. Okay, I have to admit I'm actually a hoarder, especially when it comes to stuff related to analog photography. How I ended up with so many of these ND canisters is because most of the time I try to develop my own film. And over time, I've sort of amassed quite a fair bit of these lying around the house. And the reason why I hoard them is because some of the label designs on these canisters are actually quite cool and I can't bear to throw them away. If you send your film to develop at the lab, most lab will not return the empty canisters back to you. You could try your luck by requesting for them to do so, and if you're lucky, some labs might even have some extra empty canisters lying around they can't wait to get rid of. And soon you'll be like me, you'll find yourself with all these empty canisters lying all over the place and you have no idea what to do with them. Well, an option is to consider maybe getting a film canister display case like the one I have over here. As you can see, each canister has their own compartment and once it's filled up, it is actually quite an interesting display piece. But if you don't think that is interesting enough, you can use your empty film canisters to shoot tintypes. But what is a tintype? A tintype is essentially a blackened metal plate with an image formed by real silver on its surface. The metallic silver makes up the highlights and midtones of the image, whereby the shadows are actually just a black surface of the plate. So you're just adding highlights and midtones to a black surface. If you were to view the developed silver image on a clear piece of glass instead, you'll see a negative image. That is because the background is lighter than the colour of the developed silver. The glass version of a tin type is actually called an ambrotype, and they're sometimes referred to as glass plate negatives. In order to view it as a positive image, ambrotypes need to be displayed on top of a dark, preferably black surface. And black is exactly what the interiors of these canisters are. The reason why they are black is because the interior needs to be kept as dark as possible so that the film that is contained inside will not be exposed to light prematurely. And if you were to flatten out the cylindrical housing of these canisters, you would end up with a flat piece of metal sheet that looks like this. On one side, you will see the label design of the film stock which is quite cool. And on the other side, will be the black surface. And it is on this black surface that we will be coating our photosensitive emulsion so that the developed silver will develop on top of a black background, hence giving us a positive tintype image. And it's relatively easy to flatten out these film canisters. All we need is a little brute force and a small hammer to knock it flat, and we're good to go. Here, I'll show you how it's done. First, we need a empty film canister. Uh, you just need to locate the slit, which is around here. Trust me, you can't miss it. Next, you have to stick a bit of nail in between the slit and just force it wide open. I'm actually making it look difficult because I'm recording at the same time, but it is actually easier than it seems, trust me. Okay, now once you manage to separate the internal spools and the caps from the metal housing, we can proceed to flatten it with a small hammer, like so. I will focus on the edges as that actually determines the overall flatness of the plate, so focus more on the edges. The last step, we need to remove the light seals from the top and bottom ends. And once that is done, you should have a nice flat piece that looks like this. Now that we have our material, we need to make an adapter so that it can fit into our standard 4x5 inch plate holder. For the adapter, I took a 1mm thick 4x5 inch acrylic and used a pen knife to cut out a 8.5x4.5cm opening that is just barely big enough for the flattened canister to pass through. 
Then I took a smaller piece of 1mm thick acrylic that is 3.5 x 4.5 inches with a cutout the size of 3.5 by 7 cm. Then I stuck the two pieces of acrylic together with acrylic glue and once it's bonded, this adapter is ready to use. So first, we insert the adapter into the plate holder. The bigger piece should be on the top and the smaller piece facing the bottom. Next, we place the flattened canister face down. And then we add a rigid metal plate over everything to press the canister down and keep it nice and flat. We can open the duct side to check if the adapter works. In this case, the canister is not that flat to begin with, but you get the idea. So now that we have our material and we figured out how to load it into our camera, let's now go ahead and try to make our film canister tin type. Let's go. Thank you for watching until the end of this video. If you like what you see, then don't be shy, hit the like and the subscribe button. If you're based in Singapore and would like me to shoot a canister tin type portrait for you, then leave a comment in this video to tell me why you would like to have one and I'll pick 3 subscribers with the most interesting comment as the winner. I'll announce the winners in my next video. Until then, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.